All right, let's go crude oil. So what we're looking at here this morning is we got another setup possibly coming right now. Here's the setups that you should be seeing this morning so far on the trade setups. We've had three back-to-back -back trades. This trail just got stopped out on this last setup. But we had uh, uh, a long here down at the 76 level, the 90 level, and around the uh, 55 level. And the runner just got taken out right now, just a second ago, when it broke the sim, sim dots. But you can see we have another possible setup coming. We're still in an uptrend. Trend filter is still up. So you can see right here what we're looking at on market delta. We have not got a pull in yet. But if we do get a pull in, we got another possible setup for another uh, rise. Now, the one thing that, 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 that we want to watch out for is we want to make sure that that we stay above market profile here. Market profile sitting right there, sitting right here at this level. We should get a bounce out of this level right now. So we'll see if we get a pull in, bounce out of this level. But these are the trades you want to look at this morning. Remember, what we want to do, this is where the counter trend traders, let me show you the whole entire session. So I went over to our trades yesterday, our trades yesterday, into the close, we had some buy setups here into the close. These are all the trades that you should be looking at. This morning, we've had, we've been in an uptrend every since right around 10.30 yesterday, 10.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m. here. So what we want to look for is we want to look for a continuation of that. we got to get through this level here. <clears throat> this is the major double top that we're dealing with. 55.40. If we break through 55.40 today, 55.40, 45, actually 45, look for a break, look for a retest, look for us to really get rolling here. Um, if you did get any long, if you got long this morning, at around 7 o'clock this morning, you are into a double top up there. Make sure you are scaled. Okay, my trail actually got me out of the position on a, on a retrace. But these are the positions you want to look at. Every single one caught the counter trend traders, and they were long side setups. So I haven't had a short trade yet this morning. It's all been long side setups. It's been long side setups every since 10, about 10.30 yesterday morning. Actually, I'm sorry, 11 o'clock yesterday morning. It's been long, 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 long. So the trend filter has been saying that we want to keep long. And we don't want to change that uh, that until we actually see it get inside a market profile. If we do get inside this level of looks like around 55.15, we get inside 55.15, I see this market crashing pretty hard because that's developing profile. Come back inside of it, retest it. You could probably see a nice little pullback. But until then, we got to still keep the bias. The bias has been up ever since, like I said, 11 o'clock. We had one, two, three, four, five, six buy setups off crude alone, just off the pullback buys. Okay, so why are they buys? Like I said, if you get an opposite color bar that comes in against the trend filter, trend filter has been up right here, crossed over right around 10 or 11 o'clock yesterday. We've been above all the whole time we've been above our trend filter. So what do we want to do? We want to look for red bars to come in our trend filter and look to go long on the pullback. Red bars come in, look to go long on the pullback. Red bars come in, look to go long. Red bar right here this morning came in. That's counter trend traders against trend. Go long. Counter trend traders came in here. Go long. Now, how can you pull yourself in as a trader? The entry is very simple this morning. It's a close above right here. Close above my MA and positive market delta. So you want to see positive market delta in a close. That was the entry, the last entry this morning off of the trend chart right there. And your stop, very small stop right here at the swing low. That's your stop. Now I do have traders that will place a stop at the entry bar, wherever the entry bar is, that they want a really small stop. You can get usually around a nine tick stop on average if you do that. 
right at the low of that entry bar. In other words, you can do the low of the entry bar or a couple ticks below that if you want to be a little bit more conservative on your stops and you don't want a 12 to 13 tick stop, if you want around an 8 to 9 tick stop, you can go right there at the entry bar because it should never pull back just like now. We're closing above it. It should never pull back there because that's market profile down here. We should see a move up again. So that's your entry technique that I went over in the conference call right here. You want to see positive market delta. Obviously, I had refreshed the Omnivia when it went off, so you don't see market delta below here. But you'll see the close, partial candle close above the MA. That's when we want to pop in the trade. Okay, so that fired off this setup here this morning on the trend chart. Okay, so traders that trade just off the trend chart by itself, you're going to have larger stops. So what I like to educate to do is you can, while you're looking for these setups, you can wait till the bar turns red for the counter trend traders like it's doing now. Wait for a close above it. Once it closes above it, down here off your market delta, that's your small stop for an entry. And like I said, what you can do is you can actually go the low of that bar, of that entry bar for a small, small stop. So if that's your entry bar here, you can actually put it down. We should never, if this market's going to go, it should never break this low. It should never break that low right here. It should keep going. If it does, then you have a very, very small stop. Let's say this thing rolls over and it breaks through the low. Then you have a very small stop. And what it does is that then you can look at taking a break inside a profile retest and this market should crash down. So this is a great way. These two charts work really good together um, like this on just pulling you in the market because you can see really nice smooth looking chart. So I can literally trade off these two charts with any market that I'm looking at because I'm using the trend filter to catch the rolling position traders when an opposite color candle comes in against a trend filter. So we've had counter trend traders that got caught one, two, three, four, five, six times since yesterday at 11 o'clock. We've had six wrongly positioned counter trend traders caught and we we're buying those pullbacks. So and you want to continue to buy these pullbacks until what? The trend filter changes back over or we break back inside a market profile. Which may happen today if we break through one thing right here. I want to watch this key level. I said we should bounce out of here. I was correct. How do I know that? Because I know that's my strong market profile. That little red line right there is a really strong indicator for us. It can stop the market to the tick on any given market since 1985. It is extremely accurate. So I know if we break back inside that thin red line and I retest it like we did yesterday for that big move up, then I know we got a possible crash down to the lows of 75. I have around 25, 35, $400 trade on my hands coming up if I get back inside that level and the trend filter will rotate back over and we'll look to bring it down to the downside. But until then, you got to still think long. You have to still think long. If you're afraid of the double top up here, obviously you wouldn't take this trade. You take this earlier trade. If you're afraid of the double top being the high of the day, obviously my runner here got taken out according to my parameters. So if you're afraid of the double top, then you'd have to wait till you break through the double top, retest it, and try to go long. Or you can just sit on the sideline and see if this is going to hold. See if this is going to hold right here at the 15 level. If this 15 level breaks, I'm going to look for an ABC short. We should take out the lows. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. And I'll go ahead and Jerry, you can shut this off in a sec. So the point is, and I'll show you traders in the room what I'm looking for here in a second. The point is very simple. This is your this is your setup. This is a trend chart. We've been in an uptrend, been uptrend since 11:44 this morning or 11 o'clock yesterday. Uptrend. If an opposite color bar comes in, remember I got all these filters built into the trend filter. They're already built in, so you don't have to worry about that. The trend filter is built in. It catches the wrong position traders. Once that red bar prints against the trend filter, you start looking over here 
at the pull in to see if you can pull yourself in. The best trades are if it stops right at symmetry for continuation. Those are the best ones you're going to get. I went over that in the conference call yesterday. But this, that's how we do it. We like to let the trend chart set it up, then pull ourselves in. We, we Market profile will give you confluence. You know, also um, uh, Fibonacci arrows will give you confluence and so on. That's just an added bonus, which I went over in the conference call yesterday. And we'll go over that. All members know how to do that. We'll go over that. All right, so that's the setups we're looking at here this morning so far.